Good morning, guys. Today is Friday the 5th of February. We are finally getting a Trader Joe's in our town. We're finally getting a Trader Joe's, and I don't have to drive 40 minutes to the closest Trader Joe's because that's what I was doing for each grocery run. I'm so excited. I've I'm lame and I actually came to the opening of the Trader Joe's because they said they were giving away like prizes and stuff like that so I thought why not there's people dancing out there right now so I don't think I want to go out there and dance <laughs> it's really cold I'm a Florida girl and 50s is freezing for us so I have my jacket on I have like my little turtleneck with my boots and jeans I'm waiting for some friends they are going to meet me and we're just gonna come here before work because we do still have to go to work today but yeah it should be really interesting to see what this new Trader Joe's looks like and I hope I can score a prize so um, I'm gonna be bringing you along with me and we can check out this new Trader Joe's together Oh my god, the line goes all the way down there. I just wanted some prizes. <laughs> Holy crap, I have no, I am not gonna get in here before work. <laughs> So it was it was interesting. I mean, there wasn't much that I could do. We didn't get there early enough. The guy who cut the ribbon that they let cut the ribbon from the line had been there since 5:30 in the morning. I wasn't even awake at that time. So needless to say, we were way too late to like get any prizes or anything, but it was cool getting to see the opening and we did get to see the ribbon cutting, so that was fun. So now we're just gonna grab some coffee and um, head to work. Hey guys, so it is now Saturday. I didn't do any grocery shopping at Trader Joe's when it opened and it is about time that I do some grocery shopping. So it's dark outside <laughs> because it is 8 p.m. and my friend Ashley who joined me at the Trader Joe's opening is also coming with me to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna get a bunch of my favorite Trader Joe's goodies and I'm gonna give you guys a little haul to see what my favorite Trader Joe's staples are and what you guys have to pick up on your next grocery run at Trader Joe's. There she is. So in this store, the special bird is Piper and he's like a little beach bird and he's got a little mask on. We found him in the frozen food section. All right guys, so I'm back home, but I am filming this the next day because once I got home last night from Trader Joe's, I was just starving and I wanted to make dinner, so I didn't have time to do the haul, but I'm here doing it now and I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I got in my Trader Joe's run. This is typically what my Trader Joe's runs look like. It's like consisting of my staples, my favorites, and I actually got some new stuff this time. So I'm also gonna be including the prices because I did that the last time I filmed a Trader Joe's haul and you guys loved it. Cause it's really shocking to see how inexpensive some of the Trader Joe's stuff is. But I will say there are some things that I do not think are inexpensive at Trader Joe's and you can actually get a better deal at your big grocery stores in your states, just like Vons, Publix, places like that. I think it's way cheaper to get chicken and meats at those places. Trader Joe's, typically the chicken is gonna be $6.99 per pound. I'm like, that's expensive. So I would definitely suggest going somewhere else for those things if that's what you need. But other than that, I mean, you really can't beat the prices. So I will be including the prices in there and showing you guys my favorite Trader Joe's items. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna be showing you guys the frozen foods that I got because Trader Joe's, guys, has the best frozen foods I have ever had. Usually anytime I buy something from the grocery store and it's like a frozen meal, it has no flavor. It literally just tastes like icy and watery and it's gross. This is literally why I go to Trader Joe's is for their frozen food collection and, and section. Um, so the first thing that I got, 
Oops. The first thing that I got are these. <laughs> Bear just ran after that avalanche of frozen food. <laughs> the first thing that I got was these Bambino pepperoni pizzas. These little guys are so yummy and they're a perfect little meal. Um, this is like one of the things that I had last night and they are just little pizzas, probably like that yay big. These are just, just good little meal, pop them in the toaster oven or your real oven. Um, you know, good for like having friends over. So I got this, always get this. Something new that I've gotten this time that I've never tried before, but um, Ashley told me that it was really, really good are these Kung Pao chicken mochi balls. So usually when I think of mochi, I think of like the ice cream mochis, but apparently these are crispy and then they have the Kung Pao chicken inside of them. So they're like a nice savory, and you could do them as an appetizer. You could do them um, just by themselves and then cook some rice and some other sides. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for them. It sounds really, really good and I can't wait to try it. Next up is one of my favorites. It is the barbecue chicken teriyaki. This chicken teriyaki is the best chicken teriyaki I've had frozen, like from a frozen section. Um, I honestly like very comparable to a Chinese takeout place and you get so much. I could seriously feed probably like four people. I, I don't know, it might be pushing it, but about four people in here. And then um, it comes with the dressing and usually the frozen foods that need sauce, they don't have enough dressing. And then you're like eating dry chicken and it just tastes gross. This has enough, it's perfect, perfect portions. This next one, I always get the salmon. It's just so cheap there. If you go to like Whole Foods or you go to Publix, it's gonna be like two or one or two dollars more expensive by the pound, and this one is only $10.29. So it's a good deal, I always get salmon. This next one isn't necessarily frozen food, I did find it in the refrigerated section, but I just keep them frozen because I don't know when exactly I'm going to be making this, so I don't want it to go bad before I make it. Um, so this one is the chicken enchiladas verde. This one I have not tried before, but I have tried their chicken burritos and those are amazing. I just didn't get them this time so I want to try these instead. So hopefully these will be just as good as the burritos. Next up I got the tilapia fillets. Now I know tilapia isn't the most good for you fish but guys have you ever had a tilapia fish taco? They're so good. It's so easy to make. So they came with two big fillets in here and I'm just gonna season them, make some tacos out of them with some guac and chips and bam, so good. And last but not least for my frozen foods section is the mandarin orange chicken. This is another one of these Trader Joe's items that you just have to get. This orange chicken is so good. Ask anybody who's ever gone to Trader Joe's and gotten this. So good, you need to get it the next time you go if you haven't already. All right, so next up is the refrigerated stuff that I got. I got a bunch of kombuchas. Like I said, I love kombuchas. So the first one that I got is my all-time favorite and that is the golden pineapple. This one's really, really good. And they're so much cheaper here at Trader Joe's. They're about $2.99 and I mean, I guess not so much cheaper, but if you buy a lot of kombucha, it's gonna add up and it's just cheaper to get it at Trader Joe's. So I got that flavor. I also got a flavor that I've never tried before. And this is the Aquifer Orange Peach Mango. And it's really pretty packaging. So the packaging is what drew me to the drink. And I had a little bit last night and it's good. I just, I'm not a big fan of the orange inside of it. So um, it's not bad. It's just, if you like orange, you're gonna like this but it was a little tart for my liking. And this next one, this next flavor of kombucha is the strawberry lemonade. This one literally doesn't even taste like kombucha, it just tastes like strawberry lemonade. It's really, really good, but very strong. So if you wanna like dilute it with some water so it's not as like pungent, then I would definitely do that with this one. So some other stuff that is non kombucha related is this harvest chili. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. I'm not a big chili person, but this chili is really, really good. It has black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, sweet potatoes simmered with pumpkin puree and chili spices. So this one's really good as a side, as a main dish. I just love it and I'm not a chili fan, so that says something. Next up is this 
goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli. This is one of my favorite raviolis that they carry. I've tried quite a few of the other flavors and um, combos that they have, but so far this one has been my favorite. Next, I got these two items to go together. So I got um, a salami. <laughs> I love salami, but I got it specifically to go into the antipasto salad so i actually saw this like combo done on the trader joe's obsessed instagram page i follow them if you guys don't and you guys are trader joe's lovers then i highly recommend following them they have just like anytime trader joe's put something new out or like once they run out of their seasonal stuff it's gone so i like to follow that page to know when like the really good seasonal stuff is coming in and they also have awesome recipes and new stuff that you should try together so that was one of the items and stuff that i saw in there and i decided to give it a try all right now moving on to the dried food pantry stuff the first thing that i got are these organic toasted coconut granola barks so good these are awesome little snacks when you get that like 2 p.m sugar craving and they're still not as bad as if you were to just have a bar of chocolate but they do have that sweet chocolate at the bottom and then the coconut flakes are so so good so these are just awesome and they're gluten free in case anybody out there is gluten free um so yeah that's definitely something that i like to get and bring as like a little snack to work Next thing I got are these cinnamon raisin bagels. Also so, so good and perfect if you like just a little bit of sweetness for your breakfast. But um, these do go bad pretty fast as I learned recently. And if you don't eat bagels that often, I would probably skip this one because you gotta eat them like in seven days. And if you don't, unless you're having a bagel every single day, you're gonna lose one or two. <laughs> Another little snacky item that I got are these inner peas. So these are like the dehydrated peas. I think the brand that you might recognize them better known as are the Harvest Pea Snaps. I think that's what they're called. But these are exactly like those. They're so good, perfect little snacks. They're just like chips, but a little bit healthier. So I picked a bag up of these. So I'm not a big soup person, but this one particular soup is the Corn Poblano Chowder. This one, so good. I discovered it when I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I could only drink soups and you know drink smoothies and whatever but this was awesome and if you guys are gonna try one of the soups definitely try this one i also remember how weirded out i was at the fact that trader joe's soups were in little boxes like this then i went to the grocery store like publix and i saw that all the soups are pretty much in boxes like this and i was like why was i so weirded out by that and i realized it's because i never get soup so that's probably why next up are these chewy chocolate and peanut butter protein bars so this is something actually that i've never gotten before so i'm hoping they're really good usually i don't react that well to protein bars they kind of make me feel all gross and not well <laughs> but hopefully this one's better it has 10 grams of protein so we'll see how it goes. I've seen them a lot on the Trader Joe's Obsessed Instagram page, so I thought I'd give them a try. Next one, guys, I'm so excited for this one. I fully meant to show you guys these without opening the box, but as soon as I got home, I'm like, oh my God, I wanna try these so bad. I literally ended up eating half the box, and I just, I just went to Trader Joe's last night. I was supposed to show you this unopened, but this is a Valentine's special item so if you guys are seeing this and you guys want to get it recommend getting them now because like i said seasonal stuff does not last long at trader joe's and once they're gone they're gone they're not coming back until next season so these are the raspberry heart cookies so they're sweet shortbread cookies with raspberry jam center and i feel like this is the valentine's day cookies because when i used to work at a chocolate shop they used to make these cookies only during Valentine's Day and I was obsessed with them. So if you guys like these kinds of cookies, they're pretty inexpensive. You get about 18 cookies in here and um, I think it's only like $5. So very inexpensive and they're so, so good. So you guys definitely have to get these if you want them before they sell out. And last but not least, I got this organic Earl Grey tea. So um, my review on this Earl Grey tea is awesome. I had it this morning. And the way I like to make my tea is Earl Grey black or black tea with some half and half, like a little dollop of half and half, and then some raw sugar. 
so good so good to make it like that so instead of coffee i had tea this morning and it was awesome <laughs> so other than that i pretty much just got bananas strawberries milk half and half all that stuff that you can pretty much get anywhere else at any other grocery store it was much more inexpensive than if i were to go to Publix. so that was nice and that's why i also got that stuff at trader joe's so that stuff I figured, you know, you didn't really want to see that stuff. It's kind of boring, but this stuff was the good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys want to see more of these Trader Joe's hauls or want me to do more Trader Joe's related things, leave a comment down below and I would definitely love to make a video like that. So I will see you guys next week and have a great Monday. Bye.